Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is V and if you're new here, I'm happy to have you. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so when I come out with a video, YouTube will send it to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you for coming back. I do appreciate your views, your shares and your likes. Today, I am going to do an eye look using Colourpop. First time using Colourpop, so we'll learn together the ups and downs or the goods and the bads about it. I ordered the orange Uglad. Also, just my luck. And garden variety. These are all by Colourpop. But today, the one I am using is the orange you glad. There is not a mirror in there. No mirror. It's just tin. These are the colors. I swatch a couple of them for you over here. To show. Today, we are using the orange you glad by Colourpop. As usual, I'm not going to use a base the first time I use these colors because I want to see how they perform. My birthday is coming up soon, so I'm excited for another birthday. I always like another birthday. I'm using this color right here. So how is everyone doing today? Is everybody okay today? I hope that you are okay. And I hope all is well on your side. All is well on my side. Always remember who did I is to go above your crease. Always remember that. They look the same. It looks different in the pan, but... Really? <laughs> They look the same in the pan, it looks different. It's looking the same. On my skin, they all start to look the same now. I'm just doing the outer corner and halfway in the crease. All the colors are looking the same. See, this is how I end up with like one look <laughs> that just goes crazy. Because both of the colors, one's supposed to be brighter, one in the they look one looks really dark, one looks really bright, and on my skin, they look the same. Okay, I had to take a little time to build it up, but you can build it up. It is buildable. I have a darker color in the outer corner, and the lighter color is in the inner corner. I don't know if you can see, they're very close. I'm gonna try a shimmer. Now I'm just using the glitter glue. This is a shimmer color. I always call it glitter, but it's shim it's a shimmer color. You see my mirror? Excuse it. Again, for my hooded eyes, I'm going a little bit higher because I want to see the color. I put the shimmer on. Looks nice. Little follow, but the color is pretty. I'm liking it. I am truly liking it. For foundation today, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder Foundation. I press the powder in and then I will dust it off in a downward motion. But right now, I'm just putting in the powder on my face. The found press foundation powder on my face. That's how I do my face powder. You maybe have a different way, you can tell me. Tell me how you put your powder on in the comments below. Because I'm always willing to learn something new. And now I brush down. To take off all the excess powder. I'm using it in my lower lashes, not my waterline. Now I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 in the Waterline Black. 
I am trying the sample size mascara by Milk. It's called Crush. K U S H Crush Mascara. It's a mini sample. I guess it's a sample size or mini. I'm not quite sure. I got it from Sephora. I get it in the little birthday gift package. I went and get it early. I went there to pick up something and they had the birthday gifts out early. So I said, oh, I'll get it because I might not come back. <laughs> so. <laughs> So that's my little birthday gift from Sephora. So if I'm liking this little mascara, I'm not getting big badass lashes yet, but it doesn't clump. Makes my lashes stand out. Very nice. Make me look like I have falsies. We need blush. The color in the inner corner, I am putting it on the same side under my eyes as on top the bright orange and then the darker color we're gonna continue the theme the inner corner I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that shimmer color in the tear duct Okay, so now today I am going to use the Saharan Blush Volume 1 again by Juvia's because there is like the perfect orange in this palette right here. So I'm going to use that blush. Now we got to do lipstick. And then I'll give you my honest opinion about ColourPop. First impression. This is a wet and wild lipstick. The name I'll put in the description below. I need a liner to go with a, a lip liner. Brown liner. So I think I will try the Juvia's highlighter. Okay. The right brush does make a difference. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Layla highlighter and see what it looks like. Just a little bit over here. That is it. That is it. This is the countdown to my birthday. My birthday is coming up soon and I am just excited and happy that I will have another day on this beautiful earth. So I'm thankful. Is today's simple. eyeshadow look. I used the Orange You Glad by Colourpop. First time using Colourpop. Do I like it? Yes. Can I make 10,000 looks with this palette? No. Can I make a single eyeshadow look with it? A couple. The darker color is in my outer corner <laughs> the lighter color is in my inner corner going this way into my crease then I put a shimmer color to give me a little bit more <laughs> because I like color color and I want to be always bright as the sun <laughs> so <laughs> I gotta do that it came out nice first when I started I was like mm, oh god is this gonna work but it did work. You have to build it up. It's nice. I have this orange. It doesn't look that orange in the light, but it is a beautiful, this color right here I use in the inner corner. This color is in the outer corner. Those two colors. And then I use, I use a little bottom row. And then this is the 
shimmer that I put. That's the three colors I have on. Will I try it again? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. I can do one plain orange, one plain orange, one plain orange. They are different shades of orange, but I can guarantee they all look the same on my skin. But I like the little palette. It is nice. And that is my honest opinion on this. So today I use Colourpop for eyeshadow. I use Juvia's for blush. I use Makeup Revolution Finishing Powder. It's the Press Infinite Powder. And this is the powder. That's my finishing powder today. I use MAC Studio Fix Press Foundation Powder for today. What else did I use? Oh, and I use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. My lipstick, as I say, is wet and wild. I don't have my glasses on, so I will put the name in the description. Thank you again for coming into my channel and subscribing and sharing and liking and commenting. This is today's simple eyeshadow look. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Always remember self first. Love self plenty. Take care of self. Self is important. And I, moi, me, will see you.